हफ्ते दो दफा होने लगता है और दर्द होता है हम स्कूल भी नहीं जाते हमारा बहुत दिल करता है मैं यहाँ पे अकेली रहती हूँ यहाँ हमारे साथ कोई बच्चा नहीं रहता हमारे साथ कोई खेलता भी नहीं एच आई वी डजेंट कम अलोन इट इज अटैच विद स्टिग्मा एंड डिस्क्रिमिनेशन फॉर द पर्सन हाउ ट्रोमैटिक दैट वुड बी फॉर अ पेरेंट टू फाइंड आउट दैट बोथ ऑफ देयर चिल्ड्रन आर एच आई वी पॉजिटिव कैरोल एंड हर सिक्स ईयर ओल्ड ब्रदर नीमिया ऑलरेडी सफरिंग फ्रॉम थैलेसीमिया वर डायग्नोज्ड विद एच आई वी बच्चे हैं दो मेरे नहमिया और कैरोल इनको ना बचपन से ब्लड लगता था इसकी वजह से इनके प्लेटलेट बनते नहीं थे इस बीमारी की वजह बहुत ज्यादा बीमार थी और समझ नहीं आ रही थी कि मतलब इनको इसको क्यों ये अलामत सारी आ रही हैं From 1981 till 2017 there has been a massive scientific development for HIV AIDS in the field of research treatment and early detection but one thing that hasn't changed over the years is stigma and discrimination associated with HIV positive people stigma and discrimination against HIV positive people impairs their ability and will to live a life of dignity This is one of the many other reasons where the treatment and testing coverage is less than 10% of estimated people living with HIV and even lower for people living with HIV from the key populations 4% who accounts for an estimated 61% of those infected. We are you know facing the issues on daily basis we you know keep getting the reports of you know denial of health services we keep getting the you know uh, the reports about you know social discrimination about social stigma about you know uh, uh, hampering people from accessing education and other you know uh, community services HIV AIDS is still a taboo in Pakistan unprotected sex is considered to be the only mode of transmission but it's not the reality as HIV infections have other modes of transmission as well unfortunately Nemia and Carol got this infection after a blood transfusion. The HIV positive jo hai na wo pehle beti ka diagnose hua. Baaki mujhe bhi nahi tha, main bhi negative tha jo ghar wali hain, Mrs. meri unka bhi negative tha. Shuru shuru mein hum HIV positive inka pata chala to hame to bilkul ye alada hai jaise duniya se kat ke hum reh gaye. Isolation room mein dal diya gaya aur baad mein is kamre mein bhi koi nahi aata tha, hatta ke na safai wale se ward boy aaya hain ya doctors hain, wo bhi darte the, nurses bhi. हाथ लगाने से कनोला लगाने से का पता नहीं हमें ना ये बीमारी लग गई डिस्पाइट द लेवल ऑफ रिसोर्सेज इन्वेस्टेड वॉलरेबिलिटी इज हाई इन पाकिस्तान ड्यू टू लैक ऑफ अवेयरनेस द स्टिग्मा अटैच टू इट पीपल इन पाकिस्तान आर नॉट वेरी ओपन टू डिस्कस एड्स पब्लिकली दिस आल्सो प्रिवेंट्स पीपल फ्रॉम डिस्क्लोजिंग देयर एचआईवी पॉजिटिव स्टेटस बिकॉज़ दैट ब्रिंग्स डिस्क्रिमिनेशन फॉर देम फ्रॉम सोसाइटी The first thing that comes to their mind is what would people think about them how would they treat them would they blame them for being hiv positive galat kamon se hoti hai jaise koi ulte kaam ho ladkiyon ladkon se to us wajah se ye gandi bimari lagti hai meri nazar mein jinko aids hota hai wo bure log hi hote hain is wajah se ye aids hota hai jo hamari bihararawi ki wajah se ya galat society ki wajah se ho jati hai logon mein गलत कामों से होता है और किससे होता है ये बुरे लोगों को होते हैं मैं एट वाले बंदे के साथ रहना पसंद नहीं करूंगा एंड दीज अनफेवरेबल एटीट्यूड्स लीड टू लिमिटेड एक्सेस टू हेल्थ केयर फैसिलिटीज इफेक्टिव लेजिस्लेशन एंड इट्स रिगरस इंप्लीमेंटेशन इज द नीड ऑफ द टाइम टू क्रिएट एनेबलिंग एनवायरमेंट एट फेडरल एंड प्रोविंशियल लेवल वेयर नेगेटिव बिहेवियर्स कैन बी एलिमिनेटेड 80% ऑफ द पीपल लिविंग विद एचआईवी एड्स uh they know about their status they know that they are disease and only 7% of them in pakistan really uh, approach for uh, getting the treatment which is very low we would like 100% of the people who are suffering from hiv aids know that they are disease and they are suffering and we not we want 100% of them to get the treatment other issue is really to ensure access to the services so establishment of different uh, uh, health facilities by the government and 
also the training of the staff, ensuring that the people have access to the different types of the services within those centers is another issue that we fully support. While the number of new HIV infections has declined globally over the past decade, Pakistan remains one of the few regional countries to witness an increasing number of cases. As the HIV epidemic continues to grow among key populations with an estimated 133,000 people living with the disease in the country. These startling revelations were made in a survey report of HIV AIDS Integrated Biological and Behavioural Surveillance launched by the Ministry of National Health Services Regulation and Coordination. 2016 and 2017 IBBS uh, shows us a very, very close picture of uh, the key population uh, in Pakistan uh, because it was carried out after six years. The last one was carried out in 2011. It shows us uh, that we should focus our attention on the, on the trend which, uh, which is going upward in the uh, sex worker uh, uh, community population, the key population, and also to take more measure for prevention. Because if we could not address the prevention, so it is fair that this, uh, the trend which are in, the, the, in some specific uh, key population it is, so it will spread to the general population. So this time, Beside other uh, measures, we will be focusing more and more on preventive measures. The key challenge for HIV AIDS awareness is lack of sexual and reproductive health education in schools. Though the current government is committed to reduce stigma and raise awareness by 2030. To commemorate the World AIDS Day 2017 in Pakistan, UN AIDS, National AIDS Control Programme, WHO, UNICEF, UNFPA, the Ministry of National Health Services, Regulation and Coordination and Association of People Living with HIV and AIDS have arranged a series of activities and awareness seminars with the academia, healthcare providers, youth, women and children, medical professionals, government officials, politicians and religious leaders. Pakistan committed that it has to end AIDS by 2030, but it has to achieve 390s by 2030 as well. 390 means what? Testing 90% of the key population need to be tested. Now, out of those 90% who diagnose as HIV positive, 90% of those diagnosed positive need to be on treatment. And out of those 90% people, those who are on the treatment, their virus should be suppressed. These are the 390s. We are under 10%. That makes gives me a sleepless night at how to really achieve those 390s in the coming years if we, all the forces, all the sectors don't join hand together. My Health, My Right is the global campaign of UN AIDS this year. In Pakistan, the theme is well celebrated. This World AIDS Day 2017 has been jointly commemorated with partners along with UN AIDS, WHO, NACP, UNFPA, and associated people living with HIV and AIDS is shining the light on the right to health and the challenges people around the world face in exercising their rights. If a person's right to health is compromised, they're often unable to effectively prevent disease and ill health, including HIV, or to gain access to treatment and care. The most marginalized people in society, including sex workers, People who inject drugs, men who have sex with men, people in prisons and migrants are often the least able to access their right to health. My rights must be at the first for getting health, getting medicines to be treated with dignity and respect. My right to health means to work and to get the basic things I need in terms of information, prevention, getting testing or to be never denied about discrimination and stigmatization linked to HIV. My right to health means it is my own business to go and to ask and to keep relevant information. Health people, health stakeholders, those who are working on health must also consider me as a human being, not as a subject. In order to end AIDS by 2030, 
We need to fast track zero discrimination. We need support from society, need rights-based programming, social justice, tolerance, trust, openness, dialogue between communities and family support. Rights of key populations need to be protected, promoted and fulfilled. Government of Pakistan commits bold strategy aimed at ending the AIDS epidemic as a public health threat, threat by 2030. Ministry reaffirms its support on the eve of World AIDS Day 2017 to end AIDS by 2030.